Hi, my name is Brian Fisher from DVD Copycat. This video blog is about Blu-ray burning and Blu-ray duplication. Uh, we get a lot of calls from our clients and potential clients uh, asking about Blu-ray authoring and burning. Usually uh, the, the, the client that calls is uh, frustrated and trying to figure out how they're going to get their high-def video projects onto uh, distributable media like a Blu-ray disc. The current situation as it stands right now, in my opinion, is that uh, high-def projects, getting high-def projects on Blu-ray discs is pretty darn difficult. Um, there's an awful lot of prosumer software products that uh, can be used for authoring high-def projects. Uh, and getting video onto Blu-ray discs, but from my experience, what we most often see is um, people having to go through many, many hours of difficult difficulty uh, trying to put together a simple Blu-ray project. So, kind of what I surmise from all this information is, uh, I realized that there really is no perfect situation right now or perfect solution right now. The, the ugly part of it is, is that there's a lot of software, prosumer software products out there that uh, are on the market and it's almost up to us, the video professionals, uh, to kind of slug it out along with the manufacturers and prove out this, uh, these software products. And for the most part, uh, they don't work very well at this point. It reminds me a lot of blue or uh, DVD in its infancy. We would be putting out projects and people would be talking about, oh, it doesn't play on this player and I can't get it to compress and the quality is not exactly where I want it. So I think the parallel is very, very similar. And I think that the, the short-term solution is to just take a look and realize that if you're going to be putting high-def projects onto Blu-ray discs, you're going to run into some problems over the next probably year to two years. The industry really hasn't shaken out completely. There are an awful lot of software products out there that claim to do a great job, but unfortunately there's so many variables that that can be very buggy. So I think as a first step, that's probably a, a good to understand that you're not in this alone, but it's really up to the community of video and film professionals to kind of work with the software, call the tech support people, get on the forums, discuss these problems, and through that whole massaging of uh, information, that's probably going to be how this industry shakes out and how uh, software companies can resolve their buggy software and, and take care of their, their problems so uh, video and film professionals can put out a good product that's easier than it is now to get onto Blu-ray disc. So that's the short of it. Uh, also below this video on my blog You'll notice there are several links, uh, uh, several of them are of uh, current video forums that I participate in and they discuss uh, many, many different uh, high definition issues. But primarily for this blog's purposes, I wanted to put those links up so people would have a good source of information, uh, a good place to go to, to uh, troubleshoot uh, Blu-ray issues. So um, I hope that helps. I hope it's useful and I hope that having an understanding of where we are with Blu-ray today helps the video and film professionals budget and understand their time management and the difficulties involved of being on the cutting edge of a new technology. Uh, in two years this won't be an issue but right now things can get a little touchy. Uh, okay, I hope that's helpful and uh, thanks very much. I'm going to turn the camera off now and uh, take a look at those links on the blog if you feel that's useful. Okay, thanks. Bye-bye.